the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 244, Ezekiel 4-7, Ezekiel's Four Visions. While showing various symbolic actions through Ezekiel, God revealed his discipline against the South Judah and his love. First point, Ezekiel, who experienced God's glory, obeyed God by carrying out many symbolic actions. After Ezekiel saw the full visions by God, he went out to fulfill four symbolic actions. The first act was to mold the scene of Jerusalem being taken as captive with clay. This was to symbolically reveal how God would destroy South Judah. God told Ezekiel that Babylon would attack South Judah and that they would completely fall. This message of God was soon fulfilled. The second act was to lie down facing left for 390 days and then right for 40 days. This represented the 70 years in Babylon which was to occur. God expressed those Israel's 390 years with 390 days and South Judah's 40 years with 40 days and told Ezekiel how each were to take on their punishment. There are many interpretations regarding the 390 days and 40 days. We can assume that the 390 symbolized the start from those Israel to the first return of the captives in 537 BC. As for the 40, we can assume that this was the time from the fall of Jerusalem in 586 BC to the first return of captives from Babylon. Also, the reason God told Ezekiel to raise his arm and speak was for him to appear as a contributor rather than an audience, despite his body being tied with a rope. This was Ezekiel putting his whole heart into persuading the people of South Judah who were in Babylon as captives. And now, God ordered Ezekiel to carry out the third act. This involved baking bread and eating it for 390 days. This symbolized the fasting of Jerusalem. This was God showing them what desperate situations the people who were in Jerusalem faced. This prophecy was also soon fulfilled. There was a lot that God commanded to Ezekiel. He had to sleep in one direction for 390 days and then the other direction for another 40 days. In other words, Ezekiel could not comfortably sleep for a long time. He had to be tied up so that he would not move during his sleep. He also had to show what kinds of food the people in Jerusalem would eat through the symbolic act. At times, he was only allowed to eat food which weighed 20 shekels. Moreover, he was to only drink a certain amount. God even told him how he was to cook his food. The amazing thing was that Ezekiel obeyed all of God's commands. Second point. Ezekiel obeyed God in the command to shave off his hair and beard, which was against the law of a kingdom of priests. The fourth command to Ezekiel was to cut off his hair and beard and to burn a third, cut the other third and to scatter the remaining third. This symbolized how a third of Jerusalem would burn down, a third would be killed by the sword and a third held in captivity. God therefore ordered Ezekiel to shave off his hair and beard. This went against the rules for priests, but Ezekiel the priest and prophet obeyed this command. 
All of God's words said through Ezekiel was soon fulfilled. Ezekiel was given difficult tasks by God. Prophets on the whole led very difficult lives. Hosea had to marry an adulterous woman. Isaiah had to walk around naked. Jeremiah was not to marry, etc. Ezekiel also had to carry out four difficult tasks. One of them included going against the Lord for priests. However, what God showed was that priesthood did not come from hairs, but from the word of God. Most likely, Ezekiel became ridiculed by the people for shaving off his hair and beard. But to Ezekiel, obeying God's word was much more important. Third point, the desolate life after the fall of Jerusalem was warned in Leviticus. God explained to Ezekiel that South Judah's sins were more severe than the sins of their surrounding countries. As shown by the prophecy of four creatures, God's righteousness and justice was about to happen. This truly showed how God's heart ached as He punished His beloved people. When God gave His laws to the descendants of Abraham, He had plans to bless the whole world through them. But the people failed to carry out God's will. Their sins resulted in plagues, curses, and them being scattered. All of this had been warned in Leviticus. Now, God came to the people of Israel and proclaimed His judgment on them. First point, the main reason for the fall of South Judah was because of their idol worship. God explained to Ezekiel that the reason for South Judah's fall was because of idol worship. God, however, declared that He would save the remaining people. The majority of the people would be taken as captive for 70 years, and they would be trained to become good fixed in a kingdom of priests. Ezekiel was commanded by God to declare God's anger and punishment. Ezekiel was to strike his hands together and stomp his feet, and deliver God's message to the people who were taken to Babylon. The reason God told Ezekiel to do this was to grab the people's attention. This was because the people were not interested in being rebuked. God told them that as they worshipped the idols, God was punishing them for it. Fifth point, Ezekiel explained that the regulations of Jubilee could no longer help South Judah. God commanded Ezekiel to proclaim the fall of South Judah to the captives. God declared that Jubilee meant nothing now, as the South Judah would completely fall. This meant that for 70 years, South Judah would not even be able to keep Jubilee. Jubilee was given as God's gift during the time of Moses. The fact that Jubilee became irrelevant now meant that South Judah was over. Outside is the sword. Inside are plague and famine. Those in the country will die by the sword. Those in the city will be devoured by famine and plague. The fugitives who escape will flee to the mountains. Like doves of the valleys, they will all mourn each for their own sins. Every hand will go limp, every leg will be wet with urine. South Judah would fall and all the lavish idols and their decorations would be completely destroyed. God thoroughly explained the fall of South Judah and detailed what this symbolized. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. 
He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.